As you guys know, we're going huge into additive manufacturing. And to do that, we're bringing in the best of the best, which is why we brought in the Metal X system. We pulled the crates off the truck, we unboxed the printer, we unboxed the wash station and the centering furnace. Was that anticlimactic <laughs> or what? We plugged in the printer, it was super simple, we installed the filament, and we're already printing our first metal part on this machine. Most metal 3D printers use a powder. This metal 3D printer, it uses a powder bound in a polymer wax matrix that creates a filament that's extruded through a nozzle. Once we got all the equipment set into place, I plugged in the printer, I installed our copper and our ceramic filament, and then I couldn't wait to start a print. So I went over into Iger, I registered our printer, I uploaded an STL of a heat sink, and then I sliced our part and started our print. So the way this process works is first we're gonna print our part on the printer, then after that we'll take it over to the wash station where it'll wash away some of that wax and that polymer matrix. After that, our part will be a collection of lightly bound metal powder. We're gonna take that and we're gonna put it into the centering furnace and it's gonna completely fuse that metal powder together and we'll have a part that has a density of greater than 99%. At the top of the printer, there's two spools. There's the metal filament and then there's a ceramic release material. What that release material does is it prints right at the interface between the part and the supports and it makes removing the supports super easy. They just break away like nothing. This printer is capable of printing at a 2,000th layer height all the way up to a 5,000th layer height. Typically with the wash station and the centering station, you need to vent all the particulate and the fumes outdoors, but we didn't want to do that, and so we found an alternative solution in the BOFA unit. And what that does is it's going to take all those fumes and that particulate and it's going to filter it through a HEPA filter. We love this tool, it's a great alternative for if you don't want to exhaust all the way outside. We're super excited about the addition of this system to the additive department. We're gonna be printing all kinds of insane parts and we're gonna be teaching you guys all about it in the process, so stay tuned. In the next video on this printer, we're going to show you the full process of printing, washing, and centering this copper heat sink. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.